Greetings there viewer and today we will be playing into a Z and I will be your guide to Challenger. So please join me on this journey of a couple of games in my ranked solo queue and try to learn something new, maybe sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea, whatever your drink of choice is. We have the lore accurate Z versus Shen matchup in the mid lane. Now this is gonna get a little bit spicy guys, but because if you know, in season 14, new champion specific quests were added. When Shen and Zed both hit level 11, a quest will trigger, alright? And this quest, upon completion, gives the most powerful buff to Shen. Assuming that we win the quest. So in order to win the quest, we must, uh, we must kill Zed before Zed gets two kills on our nearby allies. I personally think that this is very Shen favored. The quest is very Shen favored because it's much much easier to uh, manipulate the quest on uh, Shen's side. So basically, if Zed is strong, I will just not um, put myself into situations where allies are near me and Zed can kill them. All right, and then I will just hard focus Shen, uh, Zed when we get uh, level eleven both, and uh, I should be able to get the kill on him. I'm gonna posture like this, so that um, I, I, I screwed up there a little bit, I really screwed up. I, I missed one minion and also... Okay, now we can punish. Approach velocity coming into effect there, getting a little bit of extra damage. We don't wanna touch the wave now, because we don't wanna crash the wave. At level 2, get that minion. Get the melee minion next. So this gonna lose a little bit of CS. I crash the wave. Apply some pressure here. I got the Doran's Blade start for the maximum uh, early game bullying power. Even in CS. Um, Going here for a big trade, a really big trade. That's super good. I I failed because I don't know where Amomu started. Okay, he got that with his E. He might be able to get the wave to pull towards us. Thank you here for the passive shield. Ooh, nice dodge on there. Pull him back a little bit with the movement. Make him kill the cannon minion. Alright, this is really tricky. Now we just need to make sure we don't die to a ganko, right? But I don't know where the enemy jungler is. I have no clue. I don't know where to even place my ward. I'm gonna place my ward in this bush and then hover topside. Don't wanna give him... Okay guys, this, this is now really good for us. He tries to push the wave. But we can simply keep it frozen now. Top lane is fighting, I can't make it in time there. We just hope that Viego wins. That's fine. That's really fine, actually. So because he uses his entire kit on me, he cannot use it on the wave. Okay, 10 HP. It's fine, it's fine, it's actually fine. He has uh, Ignite, so no TP. Uh, I can recall now. And this will put him in a... Actually, it's fine. We can stay for a little bit longer. Make sure that... Um, I'm gonna get a ward here. We need the cannon minion. It's gonna be really huge. I'm gonna try to get the cannon minion here. Alright. We might be able to get Tunneler on our back here. Another gives a lot of stats, so it's super useful in the early game. Amumu is hovering mid lane now. Zed obviously wants to get the... I mean, he doesn't really care about pushing the wave right now. He didn't need the recall. Delay the auto attack as long as possible. Got that minion. Remember he still has ignite. I have to be a little bit careful. 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 He's level 5, but no level 6 potential yet. 
I'm still fine. I'm gonna last hit these range minions, Janna is in mid lane. Gonna have to E out. He's looking to kill me. Okay, this is fine, I'm gonna TP now. Uh, can purchase Tunneler, can't really get the refillable potion. But... I'm gonna get a health potion on control ward. Ah, didn't have enough attack speed quite. Can a minion, important to look. Okay, Zed is roaming bot lane. Just have to push, 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 push as fast as possible so that Zed misses as much as possible for that roam. Get all of the CS while pushing as fast as possible. Sometimes you have to delay your auto attack a little bit to get the right minion to die. Okay, got the wave shoved in. That means we could look for a roam here. Don't, don't fight this. I don't know about this, this is a little bit weird. <laughs> Would like to place our control ward now, he's gonna kill the minion. We have ulti on bot lane. Don't necessarily want to do that right now because we can still punish that. me here. I win. No! Again! Okay, I got him! I was so sure that she's, he's gonna die to that. He actually died to the last minion out of that, but if he just dies a little bit sooner, he, he would um, not get me with the Q. Man, I was so sure that I win that. <laughs> but it's really good for us, like the wave positioning is really good for this 1v1 trade. It's, it's super good. It would have been quite bad if Zed lived. Um, he probably wouldn't have had enough uh, HP to push the wave because Viego could come and kill him. But this, this is really good. He, he loses a massive amount of experience and we trade one for one. Okay. Now hopefully team just doesn't die during this window. But I'm not strong. He's hitting his Qs. I need to make sure I don't get hit by an E here. Okay, I'm on my spot lane. I'm not gonna ult on the Leon, it's not worth it. Unless... I'm gonna save. Back off now, I think. Uh, do they have ultimate or something? I'm taking a lot of damage here. Second wind Doran shield and... A second wind Doran shield is... I don't even have Doran shield. Zed could roam here, Zed could roam. I need to recall instantly. <gasps> oh my lord. I should not have stopped my recall, I thought I'm gonna die to Yana Q. Zed is here, Zed is here, yep, yep. Goodbye, goodbye Vegar. I'm sorry bro. You're dead moose meat. He's gonna go for a kill on the Amumu. Oh. <laughs> that play was a uh, little bit troll in the bot lane. Uh, mid wave is even. Surprisingly, the Zed does a lot of damage. Like, he does a lot of damage. Uh, I ran double adaptive force here for the early power. He's a little bit behind me in experience, but he's still doing a lot of work. I shouldn't try to engage in any 1v1s actually anymore. He's gonna try to kill me here. Viego wants to look for a Rift Herald. Ah, wow, he has Eclipse completed. I have no chance in a 1v1, by the way. With his Eclipse completion, he is so much stronger than me. So I have to really play careful here. What happened to that minion? I swear it teleported on my screen. Or then my brain froze. 1100 is my item. And then we play macro game and not 1v1 game. Again, I feel like I'm not using my early control ward, so actually I should maybe just not buy it. 
no retaliation from me because of his Eclipse Shield. I'm gonna spam ping his head Rome. Ah. No! I was not supposed to auto deck. My bad. My bad team. Alright. I've kind of manipulated him by eing out. He was so. He wanted to go for the 1v1 so bad. I can kill him here. If he stays, I can... Actually, wait, he... does he have flash? I'm on my shirt. Okay, I get the wave pushed in. I can't fit... I... I, sh I really don't want to sell my Doran's Blade. It's a lot of stats that I lose. If I sell it... I'm gonna stay. This is a little bit greedy, but I have... Um, I have TP afterwards. I just need to not die to Zed when he comes back to lane. He has no ultimate, so he can't kill me. Need to take a safe recall now. If he knows this position, I'm, I'm dead. Does he have ward here? Looked like he knew. my titanic on the wrong key I keep making that mistake man I need to move it immediately to one I didn't get my auto attack reset off it was slow like I, I would have killed <sighs> that's really bad by me I need to put it on one immediately I need to that's so bad man I didn't get the auto attack reset like it was super slow because I noticed it only after it didn't go off that it's not on my one key he lives now because of that that's so sad He still has Q. Oh no, enemy team. Oh no. Oh no, buddy. You didn't expect that, did you? He was so he was so looking for the kill. I I I, I Okay, I'ma be honest, it was a mistake to stay. Like I I, I was thinking Amum wants to stall uh, for for the Z. But then you just turn it out, turn it around with a little bit of mechanical out there. And the mechanic in question, out of that. <laughs> Shame gameplay, baby. Mm, can I get the tower plate thing? Zed is gonna be here very soon. E out. I have TP. Um, do I go steel gaps this game? Auto attacker, auto attacker, auto attacker. I mean, Zed's not dealing most of his damage through auto attacks, so actually I won't. I'm not gonna waste my money on boots here actually, because I have magical footwear, this gives me 10 additional movement speed, so I can actually be greedy, uh, and immediately go for... Sterax Cage. No, I'm gonna try Varmox again, no, let's go Sterax. No, Varmox. Oh no. Guys, I need to be here earlier. That was a mistake, I should buy faster. I think the Varmox will be good. It performed well in last video. That poke is quite hard right here, I need to be careful of it. I can't just give him free WEQs. Quite hard to dodge as well. That's gonna be here. I wonder if he ults me directly. I can get Kale. Flash to get the HP. No, it's not enough. 
I tried. Good job, bot lane. That play is a little bit bad. Now Zed is quite strong. The mission doesn't trigger yet because Zed is behind in experience, but I'm level 11. Zed gets the first tower here, I think. Pretty sure. That's quite bad. He's gonna be huge. He just made it to the play faster than me, so... I'm not too scared, though. I don't know, maybe, maybe Warmox is a mistake versus Zed. Maybe it's not. <clears throat> the thing is, Zed kind of tends you ki to kill you in... I mean, actually not. Once I have Warmox, can he kill me in one rotation? Maybe he can. But if I just... Go heal with Warmox after... Um, I've taken one poke rotation from him. I should be fine. <clears throat> Nice turn around by Kled, recognizing his remounting potential. Oh no, man, Zed made it in time. I should not have gone for that. I mean, obviously in hindsight, but Zed is just getting super fed here. I don't know, man. The early game, yeah, Battle of Spirit and Shadow now. So the early game went really well, but Zed seems to outscale. I mean, I don't know if it's outscaling necessarily, but the way these fights have been playing out have been really beneficial for Zed. Simply put, he's had good roams. I'm gonna move into top lane now. He he has so much money, by the way. It's really crazy, actually. Viago is dead. Why, why, does, why does he walk up like this? I'll play it by Viago. Play this 0 and 3. Okay, hey, bot lane is 5 and 1. I need help here. Be dead. Come on, Viego. Yes. Big shutdown. Really big. 600 golds. I need to clear the wave. I want this item. I really want this item, man. Um, I'm still wondering about my boots. Like, they don't really have that much tenacity. It's only Amumu, really. So I don't think Mercury Threads are a good choice. Um, plated Steel Caps. It's quite hard. Obviously, Kale will auto attack. I don't know if Plated, plated Steel Cap reduces the on hit damage from her E. I have a feeling it doesn't. I have TP now. I should not on, on my way ping there. It's gonna bait the team to go in. Need to protect Veigar. Oh. Really? What a what a Yanna tornado. I got it. Ah, we can't get anything here. It's gonna go mid lane. This is warded, so I need to be careful. Can't walk in there. Gonna get the cinder though. I really like the addition of these cinders. They're like bar chimes for everyone. Kinda like Rift Herald is Sion ulti for everyone. If Ezreal is forward, I can do stuff. Nice job, guys. Oh wait, we got the we got the quest. Is it? It's. I guess it's enough to get a takedown. I'm not eating forward because we don't know where Amumu is. 
I'm just I'm just pressuring. I'm I'm posturing aggressively to make them waste their time. Just don't let them get anything for free. Can look to old Kled here. This guy is quite tanky, but I think we got him. <laughs> Yana flashed. <laughs> Zed is here. He's gonna come back. Nice. My passive shields are 30% stronger because we got the quest. <laughs> Intense situation. I was thinking of flashing on top of Janna and Kale, but I decided that we don't have the follow-up necessary for that, because Kale still has ultimate. So I would rather just play it patiently. Um Cash rushing on the armor. Honestly, I could just keep building HP. I think it's kinda of based. Just just don't build resistances. And then we purchase Black Cleaver, which makes armor bad, right? <laughs> Let's keep going HP. With Heal by I'm gonna get a ward into their jungles to see where Amumu is. I think this was warded, I'm not 100% sure. We're doing a little bit of fighting there. I'm gonna clear the wards here. I should, I should move that because I don't have ultimate for 50 seconds. There's gonna be a fight ensuing there. I'm gonna use my Varmox movement speed to get there fast. He's farted. I'm, I'm almost there. A good flank here. I'm gonna tank the tower a little bit. Back off though. Ideally get my Varmox here again. Zed is dead. I should alive. I'm gonna catch the mid wave. Back to full HP. This is control warded, but I need to catch the wave first. damage dealt to me. I'm gonna go bot lane now. Try to protect the tower from Zed. Zoom activated. Zoom. And full HP. Take the short path here. Cut the taunt. And this way he's gonna ult me. When he ults I'm gonna Q to slow him. For items, it's really difficult at this point. I think I'm gonna go for some movement speed. I could go Dead Man's Plate, for example. Although, actually, you know what? I think the Kale is gonna be the menace for me. Like, Kale, Kale is what's gonna kill me, not Zed. Zed doesn't even want to focus me in team fights. So, I should build Force of Nature, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna do some damage to the tower here. I do this because my team is getting dragon, so I'm gonna get some pressure in bot lane as well. And then back off once we have that enough pressure. Catch one more wave, recall, force of nature. I'm gonna ward this, I can TP to that possibly. He wants to go forward. In the ward. I'm gonna be huge here. So this like boot delaying technology is something that I learned from, I think it's Kerberos. Uh, he runs magical footwear on a lot of champions and doesn't upgrade the boots at all. Instead, focusing all his gold on legendary items that grant him the most amount of combat strength. And because you get the extra 10 move speed on these boots, 
uh, it actually makes you kind of compar- compatible to other champions, especially if you are running items like Force of Nature and Varmox Armor, both giving me 5% movement speed, Varmox Passive giving me 10% movement speed. So this means that I have an extra 800, 600 to 800 gold to spend that other people don't have. So that's a... Obviously boots have good stats as well, but legendaries tend to have very impactful um, effects. E for the Cinder. Team is doing Baron, that's really good. Um, for my next item, I would probably upgrade the boots now. Quick little trade on that guy. Dodge his Q. Okay, he goes for the minions instead. Makes sense, I have Varmox. I'm gonna just pressure him a little bit here. Kale is top lane getting farm. That's a little bit scary for us. She's close to level 16. That's uh, probably one of the strongest or the strongest level 16 champion in the game is Kale. Cassidy and Kale both absolute menaces at level 16 due to their rank 3 ultimates. I mean Kale has the ascension permanently exalted uh, when she reaches level 16. Keep applying pressure here, Baron buff, minions. Just gonna hit the tower. Dodge the Amum Q. Dodge the second Amum Q. Then dodge it. Need to watch out for Z. Use passive shield whenever possible. They're losing stuff midline. Gonna back off. Dodge the Amum Q. I couldn't dodge it, I'm dead. Unless, movement speed. Gonna go this way. Go for a play here. Ah, close. Well, team gets something. They they spent two of them spend a lot of time chasing me. Uh, I wonder if I should have stayed at the plate to get my W. I was really surprised by the Sterax from Zed. Actually, I didn't look into his inventory because if he doesn't have Sterax, he's dead there. But obviously, that's the case with Sterax. <laughs> like it's oh oh no, get out of there, Vager. Run, boys. The Amumu is a menace, man. That guy is tanky and just keeps coming at you. <laughs> Dominating. Movement speed would let me get out of there. Honestly, just go Mercury Stretch because of Amumu. Even though she is the only one applying CC onto me. I think it's still worth. And then purchase armor. So I go. One minute on Drake. I'm gonna TP top line, apply some pressure. Amumu could come here. Yep. We're gonna chill a little bit. I just run out. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. I have Varmox coming up. We're just gonna uh, apply some pressure while we get Drake. Yeah, I mean it's 35 seconds, so maybe it was a little bit early for my TP. Did I use anything for that? I'm, I'm not gonna ult that guy. Twenty seconds infernal. And push one more wave here. It's soul as well. <laughs> that guy is not taking any damage by the way. He has 260 armor. Ah. Save Vagar. Ashel dead. Ah, <gasps> look at the cinders! <laughs> How much ability has this stat? It's nothing. It's literally nothing. That's not winnable fight, by the way. Why did the enemy steal the Drake? Wait, what's going on here, team? What happened? 
The enemy stole the Drake. Bro, they were hard committing in... Okay. I applied pressure at the wrong time, guys. That was... This was all my fault, by the way. I, I TP'd on the top lane way too early. I should have done it only... You know... And this is actually... Might be game losing here, actually. Man. I should have only TP'd... Wait. They're actually ending. Cleared! That is dead. Guys. I really don't understand what happened. I'm gonna let the Vega farm this. Um. Yeah, I mean, game's turning into a fiesta. Enemies have kale. It's always winnable for them. It's not gonna work because they had vision of me. What? Thank you. <laughs> so I go. They're rotating there for a play. Did we just get Baron here? That's not the guy we want to focus though. That guy's tankier than a mug. Wait, kill ulted Amumu. Wait a minute, I got a double kill. Kill ulted Amumu, the team player. Varmox triggering, Varmox triggering. Do, 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 three, two, one. Engage health. Go here, go here. We can, we can. Bye bye, buddy. Let's baron. Dead is alive. I'm gonna get Varmox healing. I can ult Kled to save, but I think it's better to. That's what I said. Lock later. Just don't lose the baron. He's gonna go back. Nice. He's gonna run out to get the warmog ceiling. Okay, is strong. Don't, don't go for this, don't go for this. Save base, save base. We got Baron, that's enough. Uh, let Leona die. Whew, whew. It's a bloodbath on our hands here. Oops. 37 cinders, by the way. So what does it give me? Increased ability has simply. Even though I have this much, I only have 23 ability hest. Okay, we're gonna finish the dead man's plate here. We'd also go for Yaksha finish, actually. That would make me stronger. I'm gonna go Yaksha finish here. Forty-five. Is it time? No, I, if I TP top line, they can rush Dragon, because I don't have my ultimate ready. I'm gonna go catch top wave though. That has TP as well. Should I be there? They're gonna engage pretty quickly when they see me top line, I think. So I have to be really careful. Ah oh, man, I keep messing up my auto deck because I don't have attack speed. I wonder if I should be running attack speed. It's so awkward so often. I'm gonna have to go mid lane. Right, this is bad. One TP here. This will push them off. We got Drake. Go mid lane, go mid lane. We need to protect mid lane. 
That's a risky TP, but I'm, I'm really thankful with Yaksha, so I'm able to do that. The enemies cannot go behind that line, like, like in front of the ward, because then I will get a free flank on their back line. So, so the TP, I think, guarantees this play. Um, I'm, I have a feeling of just going for an elixir right now. Just get me strong. I'm gonna go elixir of iron here. The game is gonna be super close. It's gonna be super close. We need to keep Vega alive. That's the thing we gotta do. I'm thinking of splitting topside. Um, don't have... Oh, Baron is just timing out. Yeah, I'm gonna split topside. I need to ult on Vega immediately though, if they engage. Wait. He just dies? Honestly thought he had a GA, but it was said that he had the GA. If they follow, I can ult, but... That's not good, Vegar. Guys. Zed is recalling for me. I need to run out. They're all moving. <laughs> Why are we making this game so hard? Okay, well, I just need to focus on my own gameplay. We are really close to throwing this, by the way. Like, we are super close to losing. Even with Infernal Soul. This is scary. This is really scary. I really don't want to lose this game. I really don't want to lose. I will not lose. To get Varmox. Head from behind. <sighs> My flash on Kale is the only thing that saves this game, by the way. Because I need to kill Kale, otherwise he will heal up and end the game. I have Warmux now. They might go and for Vegar here. <sighs> How are we making this so hard? It's because they have Kale, right? <sighs> I triggered Zed's GA. Okay, he sold it immediately. <laughs> Ah, uh, Infernal Soul Trigger, which lost me that minion. Should I recall for another potion? I think I should. Gonna be Drake fights now. Ah, my bad. Then I will always get that Q off. Just try to E on Jenna. They can try to do Drake here. Hey, guys, guys, they are, they are doing Baron, I mean. They're not doing Baron yet. I'll get hit by that. Clyde has a split push going here. I'm trying to stop the recalls here. If you stop recalls, we need, wait, Zed is recalling. I'm gonna run out though. I have ulti, I have ulti. 
let's go, let's go, man. Nice job, guys, nice job. And the back door to finish the game, what a beautiful ending. Ooh. And not gonna lie, guys, I was a little bit shaking there. Like, I thought we were gonna lose that game. Oh, what a thriller. Well played, team. Really well played, really well played. Enemies got checkmated. Back, back rank rook mate. Ooh. And promoted to diamond tree. Oh my lord, that was... Ooh. I need a breather after that one. Okay, guys, I, I think I'll see you in the next game, but that... Ooh. Yo! My goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I, I don't think there will be an... Oh. I mean, that's just a... It's 40 minutes of pure torment. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll put one more game into this video. Let's go. All right, guys, and welcome to the second game. I don't know we can, how we can follow up that banger of a game, but uh, we are facing Skarner in the top lane now. Didn't get mid lane for this game, but I think we will be quite fine. I actually went for a little Legend Tenacity uh, precision secondary room page here. Uh, the reason for the... Ooh. Now I have to watch out for... Excuse me? Hooking me through wall or what? I'm gonna health potion here. He's gonna flash. I'm fine. Can we kill? Oh my... Oh, it's a banger! It's a banger, guys! I died. Enemy Kaiser died. Neko will die to Viego. I'm TPing, I don't care, we're fighting. <laughs> I got guys here. Oh, crash proc kills. Wait, is Viego still going? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Yoink one CS here. Back to top lane we go. Alright guys, four kills on both sides of the game. <laughs> I got some... I got... no, not much value. A little bit of tenacity, a little bit of triumph value. Um, we're gonna be a little bit behind in experience. Skarner did not participate in these fights, I think. I have to chill here a little bit. Yoink that. Okay, let's just relax. It's a Kalista mid lane. That is quite spicy. Thank you, uh, E out here. The build that we will go for in a matchup, matchup like this, I think we will focus on just getting the push. I don't really care about the combat power. Uh, by building tenacity items, like... Actually, this game it's steel caps 100%, but I don't need to rush it. I can build it uh, after my Titanic, uh, because of Viego Kalista Kaiser. The Skarner will have a tough time in bullying me. He's not that kind of champion. I got a grass proc here, but it's trading grass proc, so I don't know if it's worth. Two auto axe there, get some harass. Just try to get every minion. It's more of a farm fest, really. You're not looking to kill the opponent here. Okay. Uh, our um, Senna is super fed. I don't know about enemy Viego location. Could be coming topside. That's not good. I sense that this Kalista player is good. I just sense it after the level 1. Not to punish her. I don't even try to use my auto attack after the taunt ends because I know he's gonna immediately W shield. So why waste time hitting a shield? You know what I mean, guys? I'm gonna hard chop this, try to get the wave to crash. Let me get a recall off. I can also look to stop him from getting crab. Don't 
I wanna hit that. Oh no, the jungler get it. I'm gonna E here, try to get the experience. I missed it. That's my bad. Diego can look topside. Yep, yeah, I need to relax. I need to chill. Senna dies. They dove there. I'm just gonna stay in lane as long as possible. You got a grass proc off there. Now block his stun with my W. Wait for it to time out, then go back in for the trade. He's level 5 though, so I don't wanna overcommit his stat advantage. Mid lane dies again, which is not good. Watch the Q. R sorry, E. Wave is pushing towards me, he wants to recall. From the shadows. I wouldn't I wouldn't spam being the LeBlanc, it's just gonna make her play worse. So I don't respect that from Nico. Wave shall win, Viego is taking this. So I Try to deny as many minions as possible by not hitting the wave. Well played by Nico. I, I can't. I need to stay here. I have too big of a minion wave. Viego just gets the uh, ice. Uh, or sorry, uh, grubs. It's fine. Need to be careful now because Skarn is level 6. So he can actually look to set up some ganks. With Viego. Fortunately, LeBlanc dies again. His last hit is. Ah! No! Okay. TP is up in 40. The Kalista is gonna become a monster. Need to look bot lane though. Our bot lane hard winning. Ah. Okay. 20 seconds TP. This is kind of problematic. I, I can't walk up because Kalista might roam and Skarner can simply ult me. Uh, uh, there's no counterplay for me in that situation. So I might just have to recall and TP. It's honestly probably the only thing I can do. I'm just Tunneler, uh, Ruby Crystal, get this, and TP back to lane. Our wills it's too scary for me to stay there with two, uh, 2000 gold in my inventory. I'm just too weak if Viego comes. I, I still feel like Viego might be topside. And I should have looked, man. Clear ward, go. Okay. Get out. Alista can roam, so. Have to back off. Top wave is so screwed. Let's just take Drake then. <laughs> wave is screwed, anyways. Let's take Drake. <laughs> it's not gonna get better by itself, though. <laughs> it's just gonna permanently freeze that I, I'm afraid. Kalista has an opportunity. What is that? She's level 8. Steelgaps is not that efficient versus Skarner. Uh, I could do it to get into lane faster. I'm gonna do it. Now we need to finish the Titanic Hydra in order to have some presence in the top lane. Skarner is gonna be ahead of us now. Oh, nice. Nice dodge. I think I go. Sterax Gage, I'm pretty sure. So I go. Yeah, 
He missed the cannon because I taunted him. Oh no, oh no, wait a minute. I had tenacity. <laughs> I was getting kind of scared there. Am I gonna get perma standard tower and die from full HP? Scarner experience. Need to be super careful when I'm eating uh, close to his tower. Is he Viego there? I keep losing my grass tracks. Viego might come top lane, but they have no ultimate now. Yep, yep, I see. Viego has so much pressure because we have no wards. They don't have Skarner ultimate though, so I don't know how they could kill me. Aha. They have a Nautilus here as well. <laughs> okay, like, because I know for a fact that I can leave Viego Skarner. But the Nautilus is there as well. I mean, I guess it's my bad. I mean, it is my bad. But it's just so frustrating that the top lane wave state is what it is. Oh, this is huge. That's super worth. They wasted everything on me and now we are good eyes. Never mind, guys. I'm happy about that. I'm actually happy about that. All those flashes. Oh. Kalista is gonna come. I have 15 seconds on ultimate. Kalista's mid. The Kalista is so scary. I, I can't even tell you guys how scary this, this is. Halo Blades Kalista going lethality first item. That guy deals half my HP in three out of attacks. I have to look at LeBlanc constantly now. Set up a play mid lane. I don't know, man. Yes, barrier flash. Super hard to kill. I think it would just end up poorly. Don't get into tower range again. One v five soldier living up to her name. How do we shut her down in team fights? Okay. Copy. So I go. I don't know where we are going. We are going spot. To get, get the crash proc because I double you. Back off now though. Wait for Eat Run out. And such an interesting matchup. <laughs> Here. It's a little bit scary. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> that guy is strong. She's gonna chase. I can actually stay and TP. I need to finish my Titanic. Hopefully, I won't get dove. She's really staying here to hit the tower. She has a Kraken Slayer, man. Don't don't e here, but uh... what? Holy! I didn't realize like that kind of damage. I was joking, man. I was joking. Guy is literally one shot him. Shot him. And clear the wave now.
I win. Need to guarantee the Q uh, slow by flashing, Q flash. Go take next wave under tower, E to activate passive shield to block. Can get high tempo play of this. Can I just recall on low HP? <laughs> Thinking of going Sterax here. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna go Varden Smell. Just look at these guys, guys. They are three super high on hit champions. I'm just gonna go Varden Smell. No reason to mess around here, guys. Just pick the right items. Anyways, I have tenacity rune, so I can afford to do this. Two seconds ulti. They're doing Herald, I'm gonna shove wave. That's fine. That's really fine. So Warden's Mail, do we finish it into an item? I was thinking Warden's Mail into Dead Man's Plate, maybe. For the ability to catch up to these guys. It's looking like a situation where I need to ult. Need to get. Yeah. Got MQ here. Maybe can get Viego. I'm gonna recall. Warner smell. Dead man. And I missed nothing. Yes! What a perfect ultimate. What a perfect ultimate. Very good. And I have good understanding of the situation by moving my camera there beforehand. Very important. Get that. Like, I don't know, should I be running attack speed? The thing is that for dueling power, the adaptive force is much better in the early game. I feel like I'm kinda held back afterwards. Like, I miss some auto attack resets because of the lack of attack speed. So maybe... Like... Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should go... I mean, it's bad. Big Nego dies. Ten percent attack speed. It's it's just enough to make it feel much more fluent. The attacking pattern. The guy has an eclipse. Okay, he's going for some crazy build. He's gonna go. Oh, he has ingenious hunter, and he's gonna go full shielding build. With that. I got some HP here. I have TP in five. Oh, I should be here to cancel the TP. I'm gonna get tower instead of TP. Not worth it. Wait. I have to save this tower. Bot lane tower dash as well. Guys, we are losing everywhere. We are losing everywhere. I can't walk up. No vision of them. Break is still 30 seconds. Wave is gonna be right here. Top wave is gonna push towards us. I'm gonna get priority here. You can get the Drake. Now this is a bit of a tricky situation. Martis go for bot lane. 
and the plank can get that. Skarner looking for a plank. I need my DPS champions on the Drake, man. They're going for mid lane. They might be trapping there. No! I lost. I'm, I'm walking here, I don't care. Guys, are they doing it? I need to I need to stop. I need to go there. They might be doing it. Get me out. <laughs> I needed to know if they're doing Baron man. Like it could have been that Kalista is there and they one shot the Baron, so I need to go there. I I, I don't know man. Is it a mistake? Maybe it is. I feel like I have no other choice but to get vision. I could finish a frozen heart. That would make me stronger for this fight. Attack speed reduction, no one else is gonna build it, so... I need to catch bot... oh no... I, I can't ult, I need to go bot lane. How are we losing this hard? The games, man, they are so difficult. Come to me. My bad. Please don't add that guy. How oh, is he one we doing us? Okay. Thank God. Look, the scuttler is confused. I'm tanky. I thought you could get... Oh no, there's a TP. Wait. What is happening? <laughs> this game is so crazy. I need to defend the side lane though. Oh, the Kalista is doing crazy stuff on the side lane. This guy. It's so... It's so difficult, because imagine this. I'm on side lane versus Kalista. If I miss E, I'm dead. Like, just... Plankly foot, I am instantly dead. There's nothing else I can do. She has so much attack speed and damage that she's just gonna instantly one-shot me. I could go Icebone Gauntlet here, finish it. I'm gonna do it. That will allow me to catch up. Here a bot wave, I have the TP. Guys, I need to be really careful now. DP here saves maybe my team from getting followed up on. Nice. I'm gonna flank. I, I can stop. I can stop Skarner here. The guy has an eclipse good though, so he will beat me in a one v one. We can get soul. There is no dispute. I can't press anything. I can't move, man. I have 20% tenacity, but I can't. The Nautilus just 1v9 that completely. I couldn't get my W off. If I get my W off, then... Senna doesn't get rooted and uh, I don't die and... Uh, this is just crazy. Maybe my team's smurfing. 
Okay, please! My karma support this faker. Guys are there, guys are there. <gasps> nice. <laughs> I guess I need Sterax. <laughs> I really I really need Sterax, I need more tenacity. I have ulti, I have ulti. No. Okay, Kalista alive though. We got it. Just need to make sure they don't get baron from this. Oh. oh. Okay, we are alive, guys. We are alive for now. Yep, relax. To give Baron, but like they can burst Baron like this, man. It's just one click and it's gone. They have so much DPS. Our wills align. I need to be really careful with Nautilus. He's been the MVP in these fights. Gonna move for this. Well played, well played, well played, well played. Whatever, he's out. I got a flank here, I got a flank here. Gonna uh, stop the Nautilus from joining the fight. Do I need to go out? No, I can go in. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Nice route. Well played team, let's go! Huge, that's bottom for us. Just need to make sure we don't lose to any side lane plays. With Mountain Soul this game is much easier now. <sighs> nice! We take those. And Sterax was my item of choice. Okay, we go now. Spend your money. Thanks Husum, Swain, OTP for that one. Recall, spend your money, look for ultimate. What the wave is up? Does my uh, Senna need the money? We will give Senna the money. And as often the creeps up a little bit there. Do 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 do. Senna get some souls from the minions that I last hit. We are gonna put some pressure on the sideline here. I don't, I don't want to lose to Kalista split push, so I'm gonna recall and go there. Might need an ultimate here, might not. I have my eye on... Like, I need to defend the split push. I need to ult, but now I need to TP back. Fight it. I stopped her, that's enough. <laughs> I'm gonna chase. I'm gonna chase! The <laughs> 3 <Titriti>, Kalista! <laughs> Come back here! I'm not done with you yet! <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm going, I'm going. I'm still going. Slow. Gotcha, bro. Snared. You flash. Get this guy. Disappearance act. Nautilus. Woo. That's a kill. Do I need to go instantly, bot? There's a TP. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna try to end. As well, I don't have ultimate or anything, so I'm just gonna need to run. Let's go, team! 
These games, they aren't easy, but they're for sure rewarding. <clears throat> All right, guys. What's the, what's the win-loss now? What's the win-loss? After the disastrous first two games with quote-unquote bad teammates. Now we are in a position of... Let me honor... Who should I honor? Karma. Karma honor. We are in a position of six wins, two losses. Very nice. Very nice. And... Uh, Diamond 3 for TLP. All right, guys. That's it for this episode of Guide to Challenger. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a very nice day. Bye-bye.